In this problem, we're going to find the derivative of this function, and we're going to do it using the quotient rule. So recall the formula for the quotient rule says if you have a function f divided by a function g, and you want to compute the derivative, it's going to be the derivative of the top piece times the bottom piece minus the top piece times the derivative of the bottom all divided by the bottom 1 squared. So f is your top and g is your bottom. So it's the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom over the bottom 1 squared. Super powerful formula. And this example here is like a classic quotient rule problem because there's really nothing else you can do to simplify it. All right, so let's do it. So f prime of 6. This is equal to, so let's see. The derivative of the top piece. So this is our top piece right here in purple that I circled. So the derivative of 2 is 0. The derivative of negative 2x is just negative 2. And then the derivative of x squared is negative 2x, right? Because we have the negative x squared. So that is the derivative of the top what we've written down. So that's the f prime in the formula. Uh, in this formula. These are different f's. I know it's a little confusing with the same symbol, but I didn't want to deviate from the f and the g in the formula. That's why I say top and bottom inst instead of f and g. Uh, so a derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top. So 2 minus 2x minus x squared times the derivative of the bottom, which is just 2x all over the bottom one squared, which is x squared minus 6, and the whole thing is squared. Let's go over that again just to check our work. So the derivative of the top is going to be negative 2 minus 2x, yep, times the bottom piece, which is x squared minus 6, yep, minus, that checks, the top, which is 2 minus 2x minus x squared, no problem there, times the derivative of the bottom, which is simply 2x all over the bottom one squared. So now we have to simplify. So let's go ahead and do that. So f prime of x is equal to, so I'm just gonna take this negative two and distribute it. So negative two times x squared will give us negative two x squared. And then negative two times negative six will give us a positive 12. Then you do the same thing with the next number, the next piece negative 2x times x squared is negative 2x cubed. And then negative 2x times negative 6 is positive 12x. All right, now we have this piece uh, back here. Um, so we have a negative sign here, and we have a 2x here. So we're going to multiply all of it at once. So it'll be negative 4x, right, because it's 2x and then, and then the negative and the 2. And it looks like it's going to be uh, positive 4x squared, right? Because there's two negatives there, right? There's a negative here as well. And then positive 2x cubed. And it's all being divided by this x squared minus 6 squared. And we usually leave this alone when it looks like this. You want to leave it like this. You don't want to break this up or anything. Usually it's better to leave it that way. Um, hopefully some stuff cancels. Let's see, f prime of x. Let's see, oh, look, the x, the two x cubes cancel. That's good. And looks like we have negative two x squared and a four x squared. That's gonna give us two x squared. And then we have 12 x minus four x. That's gonna give us eight x. And we're just left with the 12, so plus 12. And it's all over x squared minus six quantity squared and that would be the final answer. This is like the classic uh, quotient rule problem and the reason I say that is because there's really, there's really not another, another way to do this that's nice. This is really uh, the way to do it. I hope this video has been helpful.